Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming the 2020 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. This vehicle competes against the Ford F-150 and also the Chevy Silverado that has the diesel powertrain. So let's take a look under the hood here of the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. This has a three liter uh, V6 turbo diesel, which makes 260 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque, and it's paired with an eight speed automatic. And this can tow 12,560 pounds with a payload of 2,040 pounds. So it's very good towing numbers and payload. This makes the most out of the diesel lineup compared to the Chevy and the Ford. And this does have the most uh, torque in the actual segment. But closing the hood here of the Ram 1500, as you guys can see, the styling of the Ram 1500 is really nice. I think this is an, a handsome truck, but I think the Silverado looks a little bit better in my honest opinion. These headlights here are gonna be a full LED with an automatic high beam with an LED turn signal with an LED daytime running light. When you look down here, a little part of your bumper, there's LED fault lights with front parking sensors, some chrome tow hooks here, your Ram name, which is spelled out in these big uh, chrome fonts here. I like the grill here, which is a nice uh, look to it. I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think about the Ram 1500. I think it's a nice, uh, handsome truck, and this exterior is a black uh, diamond pearl exterior, which is about $100, uh, which honestly, I would honestly get with the chrome. But let's look at the side profile of the Ram 1500. Looking at the side profile of the Ram 1500, looking at these tires and wheels, these are a 275, 55 width tire. They're wrapped in this Bridgestone tire here. So they're pretty good tires on the market. This 20 inch uh, rim design here. You can go up to a 22 if I'm not mistaken. And you can also get a fatter tire, which is like a 285. I know on the actual uh, limited trims, uh, that you can actually go for. Looking on the uh, side of the hood uh, here, there's a 1500 Eco Diesel badge to signify what powertrain you have. You can also get the 5.7 liter or also the 3.6 uh, Pentastar uh, V6. Looking on the mirror cap here is gonna be in this chrome accent, just like the rest of this vehicle. It does have some chrome accents. An LED side marker here. Looking at the lower part of your door, there's your RAM name there with your limited uh, badge to signify what trim level you have. Your wheelbase is 144.5 inches long but the overall length of 230 inches. That's right on par with the Ford F-150 and the actual Chevy Silverado in overall length. Open up your fuel cap opening. Since my Tesla has the Eco Diesel powertrain, you do get this DEF fluid. So basically every 10,000 uh, miles or every oil change, you come to the dealership and they'll fill up the actual DEF fluid for you. And my Tesla has the actual five and a half foot bed. But let's take a look at the rear of the Ram 1500. At the rear of the Ram 1500 here, looking at these taillights, are gonna be a full LED design. Your blind spot monitor is gonna be integrated into the taillight housing here. There's your limited badge to signify what trim level you have. Looking down here at the lower part of your bumper, there are rear parking sensors, dual chrome tip exhaust. If you're a trailer uh, hitch there, which you can tow around 12,000 pounds. And to look inside your bed or to put stuff in there, Ram gives you this little step here so you can hoist yourself up into the, view, the, the bed back here to place your items or whatnot. And to close it, just kick your foot underneath it. I don't like the way it sounds. It sounds a little harsh when it's, it's closing. Your Ram uh, emblem, which is here, is stand a backup camera. When you let down the tailgate, it's gonna be a dampened tailgate. And my Tesla does have the actual spray on bed, which is part of a 400, $495 option. Love the spray on bed here. And there is four tie down hooks back here with LED lighting. But let's hop into the interior of the Ram 1500. Sitting inside the 2020 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, looking at this interior is a luxurious interior. Closing the door there, the door sounds nice and solid. But to start up the Ram 1500, put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button. And of course, my test is the limited trim. As you can see, the gauges do a nice sweep. Looking down here on the left hand side, this does have the DEF fluid, which stands for your diesel exhaust fluid. And yes, the truck is low on fuel, so hopefully, we can do the test drive. But looking here, there's this LCD display in the center. You can cycle through this little pad here. You can show your messages when you have your phone connected, your audio source, your temperature, I mean, your fuel economy, and your trip computer. And you have your vehicle information like your tire pressure. You can click over there to. Uh, this is for the adaptive air suspension. No other truck in the segment offers adaptive air suspension. Looking at the upper part of your dashboard, nice leather material and the instrument panel here, nice contrasting stitching, more of that nice uh, wood like trim. There's a center storage here with a 12 volt outlet. This does have the outplane sound system, which sounds pretty good. At the 12 inch Uconnect 4 system, uh, FCA is launching the Uconnect 5. It's going to be actually a hardware update instead of a software update. So basically, RAM, uh, RAM makes, or FCA makes as much as these Uconnect, uh, Uconnect 4 systems as much as they uh, possibly can. This is one of the biggest uh, screens in the actual industry. Uh, with the Ford F-150, the 2021 model year, they're gonna have a 12 uh, inch uh, system too. So RAM is still gonna te technically be king 
uh, of this 12-inch uh, display until Ford uh, releases the actual F-150. Looking here at these big volume and tuning knobs, this is a Uconnect system. I'll show you guys this system pretty many times before. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's going to be standard. But put it into reverse here, just have this rotary dial. I love rotary dial shifters. As you can see, the backup camera is really nice. Uh, trajectory, distance markers, and you have this uh, line in the center for your trailer hitch. Now back into park here, you have adaptive air suspension, your stability control, your tow haul mode, your front and rear parking sensors. Looking here, there is a double lid uh, glove box here. You can press this button, more of that dark trim. It's lined with felt on the inside. Putting this down here. The apartment is big, it's damped, and it's lined with felt. The seats in here are very comfortable. They hold you in place. I like the actual uh, stitching that you that they have they're very wide seats to fit wide people uh, Basically Americans looking down here in the center console putting this right here There's two cup holders open up this compartment here I think you can put your phone in there and whatnot or coin holders. I'm not sure what Ram really uses this for but I think it's for a coin holder slot uh, Two USB ports down here two USB C. I use my um, iPhone 11 charger and it uh, boots right up just fine You can put your phone in here to uh, you know keep it from sliding around up here and a household outlet down there. This is the actual key fob. I'll show you guys this key fob plenty of times before. A limited badge in the back. Unlock lock. You can lower the truck. This does have the air suspension like I mentioned. A remote start and a panic button. Uh, looking here in the center console. There's two level uh, center console. A USB port which is there. Loving up this part. You can also slide this forward. It does reveal a, a deeper storage in there as well. And unfortunately my tester is missing the panoramic sunroof for additional option. Looking here, this here this has the center controls for the SOS to lower down the bed back there. LED light is going to be all over the cabin. Three universal car garage uh, remote uh, there. You can also open this rear glass with the click of this button up here. But overall, I'm really impressed with the Ram interior. It's one of the best uh, luxury interiors in the actual segment, like I mentioned. But let's hop into the back seat of the Ram. So get into the back seat of the Ram 1500. My tester has these running boards that deploy with this grab handle here. And looking here on the floor, there's additional storage. You can turn this into a cooler or whatever you would like to do with it. But get into the back seat of the Ram 1500 here. Nice materials, just like in the front seat. So Ram didn't do any cost cutting there. There are two map pockets back here with two USB-Cs, two USB ports, a household outlet. My tester is missing the actual cool seats but there are three level heated seats, rear air vents. There are two cup holders here. Uh, Ram says you get around 45.2 inches of legroom. That's the most legroom in the actual half ton truck segment. And you can recline the seat just a little bit. And honestly guys, I didn't know that you can actually do that until I reached under here uh, before I started filming and I didn't realize what you can actually recline the seat. So this whole time Ram actually had reclining seats. But putting this armrest down here, there's two more cup holders here with additional storage pushing this back up uh, you can definitely fit three full-size adults back here because of this truck is so wide the seats are really really big but my tester is missing the app the optional panoramic sunroof but you do get LED light throughout the whole entire cabin but let's take the Ram 1500 out and see how it performs with that eco diesel powertrain Start off in the 2020 Ram 1500 eco diesel this is not my first time driving this actual powertrain But it's really smooth. My Tesla does have the air ride suspension, so you can definitely take this thing off-roading. But I don't really like the actual tire setup that you have. You can get a beefier tire. You can get a 285 with tire. My Tesla has the 275 with tires, so you can get a little bit, uh, a little bit more actual uh, grip with those tires. Uh, visibility out the Ram is pretty good. You have these big side mirrors with blind spot monitoring. Uh, you also have uh, Ram's driver's assistance with adaptive cruise control, emergency braking rear cross traffic alert so everything that you guys would like in a full-size truck that has a lot of tech uh, the uconnect system here is 12 inches one of the best uh, systems in the industry it's fast uh, i remember i had a ford f-150 and i remember i connected my apple carplay to it and the sync 3 system just kept freezing it was lagging every so often i had to cut the truck off like maybe five to six times i'm not sure why the system was giving me a problem but that was my first time ever experiencing uh, something like that with the Ford uh, Sync 3 system. But this being the Eco Diesel, <laughs> uh, 
a lot of lower end torque. It has about 460, I mean 480 pound feet of torque and it has 260 horsepower. This doesn't make the most horsepower in the actual diesel uh, segment, but it does make the most torque. I'm gonna do a slight acceleration run. So my camera stuff's lying around right there. So I'm gonna brake torque and put my foot on the brake and the accelerator. Oh. <laughs> Maybe around like 2,000 RPM, that's when you, find, you feel the low end torque. And yes, I'm kind of low on fuel, so I can't be doing uh, a lot of acceleration runs because the fuel is really low. But uh, starting fuel is really good. My Tesla does have the adaptive air suspension, like I mentioned. So the riding here is really, really soft. The eight-speed automatic is paired uh, good with the uh, three-liter V6 uh, diesel. This tows most in the actual diesel uh, segment it totals 12,560 pounds and it does have a good uh, payload which is around 2,040 pounds so Chevy doesn't offer uh, class leading numbers or neither does Ford in this actual segment but if you were go for the gasoline version Ford is going to be the top king of uh, the payload in actual the actual uh, towing numbers but in the eco diesel I mean in the diesel form the uh, Ram 1500 has that number uh, unlocked but Ram I mean Ford is introducing the redesign f-150 so they do have a 12 inch uh display coming but as of right now ram is still technically the king of the segment and so ford releases the f-150 but honestly the ram 1500 is a nice riding uh pickup truck yeah plenty of space in the the back seat it has the most legroom in the segment which is around 45.2 inches i'm gonna do another slight acceleration run really quick feel all the torque around like 2,000 uh, RPM around that range. Uh, I feel all the low end torque, which is really good. Uh, these uh, diesel engines are known to be really torquey at a low RPM. Uh, one thing between this and the actual uh, GM products is that this is a V6 instead of an inline six. So, but fuel economy numbers are 22 in the city, 32 on the highway, and 26 combined. So it does have really, really good fuel economy numbers. So, um, like I mentioned, this does have the diesel powertrain. So this has the DEF, which stands for diesel uh, exhaust fluid. So every 10,000 miles, or basically every oil change, you have to go into the dealership and get the, DE, the, the DEF fluid uh, swapped out. So uh, basically, you can, you know, help with the emissions and whatnot. It's like a five gallon. Uh, fuel tank that they have to fill up so it's not too much and I think um, at a certain gas station uh, here I think uh, it's around like a four four dollars per gallon or something like that I'm not too sure I don't actually own a pickup truck but some of you pickup truck buyers out there you guys could just tell me uh, how much it is in your part of the United States or wherever part of the world that you live in and you actually have the eco diesel uh, powertrain the seats in here are really comfortable they're not aggressively bolstered because I can just kind of whip myself around in here but the seats are not aggressively bolstered and the truck this truck is not made for that so you get the the Ram TRX which is going to have a Hellcat engine so can't wait to drive that one so I'm not sure the actual uh, horsepower numbers or the torque numbers for that actual uh, truck so I have to wait until the dealership gets one but Ram is supposed to be having a high performance version of that Ford has the Ford Raptor Chevy I don't know what you guys are doing, but you guys need to step up your game because Ram and Ford are always leading. So let's see what Chevy has to bring to the table. But I think they're testing a high performance Silverado. After spending time with the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, my Tesla has a tech rich and luxurious cabin. And I'm really impressed with the Ram 1500. So how much does a Eco Diesel Ram cost? My Tesla starts off at $53,465. This has around $8,000 dollars worth of actual options with the most expensive being the actual powertrain which is a four thousand dollar plus upcharge so how much does a ram 1500 eco diesel cost my tesla stickers for a grand total of sixty one thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars i'd like to give a special thanks to dateland chrysler jeep and ram for providing with the ram 1500 eco diesel if you're in the market for a ram 1500 eco diesel you can come to dateland chrysler jeep and ram and this is my full overview on the 2020 ram 1500 eco diesel make sure you guys follow me on instagram at drive on reviews if you guys want to support the drive on reviews youtube channel just check out that description box down below and make sure you guys turn on post notifications and keep subscribing to my youtube channel i catch you all in the next video